doing a quick little video here for you guys. I've got a bunch of footage I got to pull off my cell phone, get it on the laptop so I can edit it. So we'll have that coming up here in the next couple days. And then just wanted to show you guys the start of my new adventure here. So over the weekend, picked up a used mech size master. Just got it mostly cleaned up. Couldn't really get into there very well. This thing was so caked with dust, it was ridiculous. Been sitting for a while. So we got stuff just laying out and drying. As you can see, I was messing with it a little bit. I've never reloaded a shotgun before, so like I said, new adventure. Got the ram running nice and smooth. It was catching a lot. It's still catching a little bit there. So we'll throw some dry lube on everything. It's not catching as bad as it was. I had to pretty much, from here, I had to force it back up. Not really force it. It wasn't smooth. So that's all nice and smooth now. And the primer feeder works when you have something in the final crimp. So when that comes and slides down. I had opened this haul up, as you can see there's a little bit of marking in there for me, prying it open with a pick, and then emptied, it up, emptied everything out, the shot, the wad, the powder, got everything emptied out, and then ran it through the press, so resize and deprime, reprimed it, and then poured the powder in, seated a haul, poured the shot in, then come over here to the pre-crimp and final crimp and it looks like once I get this thing really going I'll have a little bit of work to do to get that hole to close up a little bit more just from what I've been seeing so if you look at factory load there's no hole so I got a few things to pick up The one bottle that was on it is cracked. It's the powder bottle. So that's cracked. This is all that was remaining of the shot bottle. So need to get new bottles. Uh, the steel conversion kit. Steel um, load bar. Got to get some more bushings. This one's got a 35 in it, which unless I'm running three inch shells. I'm not using that bushing. But we're just letting everything dry out and once I get the new parts I'll have this all up and running and start loading some shotgun ammo. I am going to pick up some lead bushings that way I'm not using expensive steel shot for target practice. So I'll be able to load both lead and steel and everything should be good. Alright, thanks for watching.